welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Rachel and this is my husband, Corey. Hello. And together we're renovating this 20 foot camper. This is gonna be our tiny home on wheels. It's 105 square feet, which is uh, around nine square meters for all of my European friends. Anyways, it's 13 years old. The inside of it was really dated and dark. We've done some really awesome renovations so far and I'll link the videos if you wanna check those out. The tabletop on the dinette was so dated and it was warped. It was kind of bowing in the middle. And so I decided since we're here at my dad's, who is an amazingly talented woodworker, that we would utilize his skills and he could teach me at the same time how to make a tabletop out of cedar wood. We also have made a countertop out of cedar wood as well. And I will show you that at the end of this video. So let's get started. I will take you through the process with me how to make a tabletop the right way. Because my dad does everything very meticulously and no shortcuts on this one. All right, let's do this. First, we wanna make sure that all of the wood planks are the same width. So we run them through a planer, which flattens it and it reduces the thickness of each board. We plane each board down to be three quarters of an inch. After the boards are planed and cut to size, then we arrange the boards in the pattern we want the tabletop to be. Next, I clamp each board down and cut holes for the biscuits, which will join the pieces of wood together. We glue the biscuits into the biscuit holes. Then put glue on the edges of the wood as well. We join the wood planks together, clamp it, and leave it to dry overnight. In the morning, we remove the clamps, carefully scrape off the excess glue, and begin to sand. This is a long process, but somewhat therapeutic. And the dogs hung out in the camper because Cory was taking a test inside the house. You being good puppies? Waiting? Being good puppies? It's your first time to hang out in there, huh? And once the tabletop was sanded, I rounded the corners. Now it's time for the clear coat. I was nervous about this part. I had never done it before and working with epoxy resin can be tricky. If you mix it the wrong way, it won't cure right. If you mix it too fast, too many air bubbles will form, which are difficult to get rid of. My dad and I put, and Corey put a clear coat on our dinette tabletop. Well, it didn't cure right. It is really uneven and it has these pits and imperfections in it and some, even some dry spots. We believe it's because this clear coat that we used, it was really old. Anyway, so I ordered some new clear coat and it's gonna be coming in the mail in a few days and then we'll just do a light sand on this and then we're gonna apply another coat. Theoretically, it should work and it will even it out. Can't wait to see that because this is going to be the most beautiful dinette tabletop there ever was. I'm here in my dad's shop and I'm about to pour the next coat of resin onto the tabletop. I lightly sanded it down with 220 grit sandpaper and then I've wiped it down with alcohol to get all of the dust off. And so now I'm just gonna get the resin ready. I'm gonna mix the hardener with the resin to stir that for quite some time until 
absolutely ready. And then I'm gonna pour it onto the table. I hope it goes well. My dad didn't come out here with me this time to help me. He just wants me to learn how to do it on my own. Anyways, let's get started. I can already tell at this point that the consistency of this batch of resin is way smoother and looking a lot better than the last batch. So things are looking up. Wasn't doesn't look like it was enough. I'm really pleased with how the table's turning out. I will know for sure tomorrow morning if it's curing right. So it's the next day of going out to the shop to see how the clear coat how my coating whatever it's called, how the resin cured. Let's go check it out. I am excited and nervous at the same time. I'm gonna touch it. It cured! Wow, it freaking turned out so beautiful. I'm so happy. That was my first first time ever working with that stuff, um, with that resin. And I'm gonna tell you what, it was very stressful. And yesterday I was like, I will never use it again. But I probably will. It's so pretty. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Wood grain though. All right, here it is in its place, looking fabulous. And here is the cedarwood countertop. It wasn't nearly as long of a process as the tabletop was, but stay tuned, there's more to come. We still have some more projects and some more things that we're gonna be doing. Thanks for watching, bye.